Welcome back to the evening show. Now, May 13th marked the Indian Club Night as part of the Indian Film Festival, which we were talking about last week. So I decided to go along to show you exactly what happened on the night. Take a look. <laughs> Geraldine, you're looking after the fabulous collection that's going yes, to hit the catwalk a little yes, later. Yes. Tell us all about it. Well, we're very excited. We're delighted to have the opportunity here tonight to um, showcase our spring-summer range. And um, we've lots and lots of colour, lots and lots of print. We're just so excited. We've put together a collection of 32 outfits in total. We have some stunning ladies. We have customers. We have friends. We have staff. We have models. We have friends of everybody. So it's just a real, a real girly night out. Oh, super. And we've got a great snapshot of what's going to be. Yes. Yes, have, yeah. Talk me through the range here. Okay, well we have this beautiful top here. You can see the detail on the front. It's just it's print as well. It's beautiful. It's so easy to wear. This is a real glamorous weekend look, or you could wear it to a barbecue, any occasion. Any occasion, so easy to wear. Just look at that sleeve. Oh, it's gorgeous, so feminine. Very flattering on, I imagine. Yeah, yeah, very, very easy to wear. This covers a multitude of sins. This is every woman's favorite dress. You don't need any tan. You don't need any high shoes, you can wear flats, great for holidays, roll it up in the suitcase, doesn't crease. And this has been catching my eye since wow. we started. Yes, we, Absolutely all of our glad. ladies loved this. We had a battle as to who was going to wear this <laughs> because it's very glamorous, it's very sexy. Just great for holidays, just great. And of course it's all available from Wallace. <laughs> So Pooja, you are one of the models here tonight. There's lots of action happening here backstage. Tell us a little bit about what's been going on. Well, there's a lot of fun at the backstage right now. We're all getting our hair done, our makeup done. We're just looking forward to run through the event. Now you're in your first ensemble here. Uh, talk us through the outfit. Is this something that the Indian women at home would wear? Definitely, yes. Uh, it's a very uh, contemporary outfit out here with a little bit of twist. Back home we wear something like this because it's really nice and very comfortable. And I think everybody back in India, the fashion is so big. People love clothes. And I think this is something that everybody wears out there. Lisa, you have been in charge of beautifying the girls here tonight with all their makeup. Yeah. Talk us through the look that Hira is wearing tonight. I just wanted to go for um, a nice glamour look, but keep it nice and keep it nice and simple. So I went for I went for an Indian twist and I went for a lovely thick eyelash and the eyeliner. And I went for a lovely, just simple lip. Because when you have a full-on eye, I like to keep it nice and simple at the lip. So... That's the look we went for tonight. And all the girls are wearing the same look? More or less, yeah. Just some slightly darker and some slightly, you know, calmer at the eye. And of course, we all know that the Irish team did so well this year at cricket. And Phil Simmons, you we're definitely part of that experience. Yeah, and it was great to be part of it too. Um, we, we, we lifted the country at, at, at one point in time, which was, which was nice for us. Now you were in India for a number of weeks during the tournament. What was your experience like over there and have you been enjoying the festivities tonight? Yeah, yeah, the festivities are great. India is a great place. India is a lovely place, especially when you have Cricket World Cup on or any kind of cricket on. The people are just go mad and they look after you well. So the six weeks were great. And I think tonight is going to be a night to party. Now, one man who definitely has a lot of experience with India is, of course, John Mooney. John, lovely to see you here. Yes, yeah, nice to be here. Thank you very much. Now, what was your experience like over in India for the Cricket World Cup? Yeah, it was awesome, you know, um, it's, it's a fantastic place and they just absolutely love cricket, so, you know, it's probably the home of cricket at the minute, I know the English invented it, but the Indians, uh, you know, they're the ones who really, really love it. Now, it's a very busy night tonight and uh, I've been getting a real taste of Indian culture, what's your take been on the night? Yeah, it's, it's, it's really great, you know, the, the fashion show is being cool and uh, the food, you know, as Indian food is, is, is beautiful and, uh, you know, it's just been a real great night and I'm glad I can support it. Yeah.
Yes, we have some super food here. Tell me a little bit about the Indian cuisine you have on offer tonight. Yes, uh, I would like to tell you about a few masterpiece culinary things that we have in India. That's alu ki tikki. That's okay. a famous thing in India. Everybody likes it. Any wedding, any occasion, any restaurant, big or small, they have this alu ki tikki. Tell me uh, a little bit about the chicken because it looks yeah, really we different. Have three types of chicken here. One is shallow fried chicken pakora. That again is uh, one of the very likable things in India. People like it a lot nationally and internationally. Everywhere people like it. Then we have murg malai kebab. That is an organic chicken marinated overnight with the yogurt, hung yogurt we use in that. And uh, almly cream because people are health conscious. I know that in Ireland, you know, we might have the spiciest of palates. Do you find that the Indian cuisine translates well to Ireland? Well, now people have started, you know, experimenting with Indian food. And actually, Indian food is likable all over the world. People like it a lot. And slowly and steadily, clientele in Ireland, people are liking Indian food. And uh, to be honest, many people like very hot things. And at Cinnamon Garden, we keep on experimenting on this. We have the lightest, we have the mildest, we have the medium, we have the hot. We have everything for everyone. I have found the man that has brought the beer to the right venue tonight. Dean, it's lovely to have you with us. Hi, Olive. You are the sponsor of tonight's event, we're one the, of the... We're, we're one of the many sponsors, and we're here to just highlight Indian community and, and show Irish people that there's a whole different side to the, the plastic Indian Bollywood kind of thing that they're used to. And uh, Kingfisher, we're, uh, uh, we're the, number, the world number one Indian beer. A lot of people don't realize that. Wow. And we're just here to, to instill that in people. And, you know, uh, uh, the, 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 the film festival, the fashion night, the food night is just perfect for us. Shash, you are the organizer of the big event tonight. Tell us how it all came about. Uh, basically, the way you kind of relate India is food, fashion, and music. I thought that's the best thing to unite, and the biggest thing was cricket. So we invited John Mooney and Phil Simmons. We thought it's going to be a wonderful night, uh, educating people in Ireland about cricket and what what Indians can do out here. There's so many Indi Indian people in Ireland, and I think that the cultures can merge really, really well together. Absolutely. Are you hoping that more people will kind of look towards India as a holiday destination? Absolutely, and this is a benchmark, I suppose. So once we start doing this, and obviously we have big sponsors like King Fisher coming on, and if they do more for us, and I think we can do much better. Jackie, you have been helping Shash put this entire Indian club night together. How well has it gone for you? It's gone absolutely fabulous. It was actually Shash that came to us with the idea. He's organizing the Indian Film Festival and he wanted to incorporate the Indian club night. So luckily he chose the right venue and it's all come incredibly well together. He brought a very celebrity DJ, DJ Gladdy, to our, our venue, which is great for us. We have a large membership in our penthouse at the right venue. So it's nice for us to offer our members something different. So we're really delighted and food, incredible. Amazing. I'm, I'm really happy with the, with the outcome of it all. Yes, lots of colour and culture there at the Indian Club Night at the right venue. And it really makes me want to just pack my bags and head off to visit the Taj Mahal. Well, that's all we have on tonight's programme. Jimmy will be back here on Monday at 7. We repeat at 9. Do join him then. But until then, have a lovely weekend. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.